Hey guys, Leilani Joy here, and today I want to get real about something personal and share with you a part of my artistic process that's often painful and sometimes paralyzing. While I do that, I'm going to share the process of an illustration I did recently using Arteza's Real Brush Pens. I created this piece specifically to capture something that I've always struggled with as an artist. Right now, as many of you know, it's Inktober time, which is a super inspiring and motivating time for artists around the world to share and challenge themselves artistically. But with this can also come a lot of anxiety to compete with other artists and yourself. So I just wanted to share my personal experiences with anxiety, perfectionism, self-loathing, artist block, and something that I refer to as imposter syndrome, which some of you guys have probably heard about before, which is basically just constantly feeling like you're fooling people and that you're not authentic and you're not as good as you think you are. I haven't talked about this publicly very much, and after a recent very intense bout of this, I thought it might be healing and hopefully relatable to many of you guys to share my experiences. The support that so many of you have shown me over the years has truly made me stronger, braver, and more inspired to persevere. So I grew up a very anxious, perfectionistic child, so sometimes it seems odd that I fell in love with art because it is so subjective and hard to control. There is no right answer, and I was a very right answer type student and person, so my mom often didn't know how to help me when I wanted the right answer with art as well. So now as a professional artist, it's still kind of a conundrum that I often find myself in. Why did I choose something that is often so incredibly painful? Was it the right choice for me? Did I somehow fail along the way and fake my way to some kind of art career? Am I simply not good enough or cut out to compete with those artists who seem to be surpassing me, who are younger than me, who are faster than me, who have more followers, more likes? Am I becoming obsolete in an industry that's becoming more and more competitive? These are the questions that I have often swirling around in my head, along with the ever common, you really don't know how to draw well, you basically do the same thing every time, all the negative comments you get on YouTube are true, every new piece that you do has to be better than the last, and don't forget, you have to do a piece that will sell your rent and your bills literally depend on your next paint stroke. You shouldn't take a break. You don't deserve one. Artists who are better than you work more hours than you. You're lazy and you're never going to be as successful as them. And finally, my big one is that you are actually a huge fake, a terrible artist, and soon everyone will find out. And that's kind of where the imposter syndrome comes in, that I'm just deathly afraid of people finding out I have no idea what I'm doing. (laughs) So, as you might imagine, these negative thoughts can spiral me into a sort of canatonic state where I simply feel so paralyzed that no matter how hard I try to force it, no creativity comes. And then I also have layers of guilt on top of that, which really helps. So this happened to me very recently, and I tried to go through all my usual go-tos to deal with artist block because I I do have some things that kind of help me Um, take a walk or exercise. I listen to music in the bathtub and just try to visualize things or make up music videos in my head. Um, Sometimes I try to do my thumbnails with a different medium or go digital or use photo or even cut out pieces of paper. Um, Sometimes I just try to avoid art altogether for a day or a couple of days. Um, But in this last case, I have this kind of, it wasn't even a high pressure commission. My client is super chill and nice, but I just really wanted to impress this client and nothing was working. I was just stuck. And I just sat at my desk simply pumping adrenaline for hours and I would just watch the clock tick away and internally shout every negative thought that I could think of at myself, basically. But here comes the light at the end of this tunnel, and this is the reason that I'm really wanting to share all this. And it's not just to include you guys, my fellow artists who also suffer from this, but also as a reminder to myself. This feeling will pass. It it is inevitable. I know it sounds trite and overly simple, 
But the minute that I started to just forgive myself a little bit and take a deep breath and say, all this really does not matter. <laughs> like in the grand scheme of life, like all of this could be gone. Our phones could be gone tomorrow. Um, there's no more art supplies. I mean, whatever. I mean, this really does not matter. And when I kind of think of myself as the small little grain of sand on this planet that we live in, in this universe that we live in, in this grand scheme, that, that can sound sort of scary, but at the same time, it's sort of comforting that like, all my internal struggle and like what I'm so worried about is is just minuscule. It, it really doesn't matter. And once I started to kind of put myself in this mindset, slowly ideas started to just kind of naturally flow again. I, I know this statement can even kind of trigger anxiety saying like, oh, well, nothing matters. Yeah, of course it matters. What do you mean it doesn't matter? My whole career and standing as an artist depends on my next piece. But here's the real deal and the epiphany that I suddenly had. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. So what if you do a piece you aren't happy with? So what if it doesn't go perfectly? you can do another one. What is the worst that can happen if you make a mistake? Learn from what went wrong, if you can, and just try again. The only one truth that we must embrace in all this, I think, is that it is a journey, not a destination. Being an artist is a life's work. It is not a thesis project that you turn in for a final grade. When I just kind of start to shake off my own self expectations and try to be present in the moment, it's somewhat miraculous how much more enjoyment I can get from art again. Um, I just kind of remember being a kid. I loved art. It was an outlet for me. I was shy. I didn't um, connect with people socially that well, and I could escape into worlds and characters that I created. But there was no pressure back then to share this on Instagram, to sell it, to build a portfolio, to get hired. That was not not existent when I was doing it simply for enjoyment. And I'm trying to get you guys and myself to, to remember what that was like. Try to put yourself back there a little bit. Just sit there and imagine you're at your parents' kitchen table, you know, with cartoons on in the background and what what those emotions were like for you. I'm going to pledge to stop dwelling on a past piece that didn't sell or didn't turn out just the way I'd envisioned it. I pledge to stop dreading the next piece and seeing it only as my next rent payment. Say these to yourself too, if you can. I, I'm smart, I'm adaptable, I'm determined. And if it doesn't work, I will move on and I will try something else. I think the one thing that we have is our determination to keep doing it. And that's what really makes you an artist. Because people say, well, I'm not an artist. It's just that they give up. They might try and they didn't learn and they didn't want to put in the time and effort. So that's what makes us artists. And remember too that we as artists are fortunate. We can express ourselves in ways that others can't. We can create something that never existed before. And that's really quite extraordinary when you think about it. I really think we need to forgive ourselves for not being perfect. Art should not be about perfection. And don't listen to people that say you did it wrong. Well, who are you to decide that? No one can tell you what's wrong or right. You can simply decide how you want to do it differently next time. We need to forgive ourselves for not having as many followers as some other artists. That's something that I kind of get hung up on, definitely. I'm like, I'm working hard. I, I, I put my art out there. I can never build that following. But Look, I don't know their story. I don't know their struggles. I don't know their doubts. We are enough. We have never-ending potential. And to me, that's exciting. So the concept of this piece began as something painful, as something I was struggling with, artist block, and an artist staring at a blank page, unsure of what to do and afraid to even make a stroke. But if you look at how this is kind of coming together, she's also thoughtful and hopeful and has inspiration flowing all around her. 
Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the chemicals that make you feel anxious are the same chemicals that make you feel excited. So when those feelings start churning up inside us, let's try to embrace them as excitement, as the potential possibilities that await us. Now, it may not be an easy road and every piece has its own struggles, but we can still look forward to the journey. And finally, remember that there are is a cycle to everything and when you're on the low end don't be afraid or ashamed to reach out for help support and inspiration because it is out there and just know that you are not alone we are in this together if you're struggling with anxiety and depression a program that has tremendously helped me cope with severe anxiety and panic attacks is the midwest center self-guided program attacking anxiety and depression with lucinda bassett for more information, please check out these resources and links below. To purchase the real brush pens used in this video, please use my links here, and until October 12th, you can save 10% with my code LeilaniJoy1. Want to get involved in the discussion? Now exclusively for my Patreon subscribers, you can find me on Discord, the online chat and discussion forum. We can talk about our artist anxieties, experiences, career questions, gaming, RuPaul's Drag Race, nerd stuff, whatever we want to chat about. Join me there today and support my videos at patreon.com slash LeilaniJoy.